Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you for sticking with me over yesterday's debacle of a vlog which, you know, I can only say technical problems and yeah, I don't know what the hell happened. Anyway, thank you for those that came back to watch it again and today we're going to discuss and prove just how bad the Inghams are. So... It's not a difficult task, but uh, let's see if we can do it anyway. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's video. You're starting today off with me on what was. It was a very sunny morning this morning. We had a crazy busy morning at the house. We had a dishwasher engineer replacing some parts on our dishwasher. Um, like a warranty repair thing that we had done. Uh, we've had all sorts of things going on at the house today. <laughs> Absolute madness. It sounds absolute madness. I can't tell you just how mad that sounds. Your lives must be one absolute madness. But um because we've got some really, really cool stuff happening this week. One of the things that happened this morning was Prinny came to the groomers where I'm just now. I've just come to pick her up because they called me 20 minutes ago to say she was ready. I'm really hoping she's not balded. But um she shouldn't be. She should be in, you know, she should be looking good. It is a new place that I brought her to. Um, her, her her normal groomer had no availability at the minute, so um, she's come to a new place. Can I be the first to congratulate you on the, the first lie of the day? <laughs> the Her normal place had no availability. What normal place? When have you ever, ever, ever got her groomed whilst you've been living in that house? I'm pretty certain it's been Granny J that's had her groomed in the other instances because you've always been away so i'm just saying i'm not saying that you're no i am saying you're lying sorry just because we need her doing this week um because we are going away and doing something very fun in a few days time and oh, now you make me feel terrible for coming back at you again so soon i mean you're saying that Prinny needs to get groomed this week. That's why you've got her in this week. Because you're going away very shortly. But you didn't know that when you booked the holiday. <laughs> Sorry, when you booked the appointment. Remember you booked her appointment weeks ago. And you didn't know at that point that you were going to go away this week. So I'm just saying, is it the groomers which is the problem? Or is it the holiday that you may have booked weeks ago? I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go pick her up and see what she's like. Oh, Prini. Oh, look at your hair. You look so smart. All soft and all trimmed. <laughs> she's always so happy to see me when she comes out the groomers. It's like she, it's like she's, she hates it so much. She's so happy when I come. <laughs> Good girl. You look wonderful. Should we go show mama? Should we go show mama and the girls? Why are you calling Sarah mama to the dog? I, I, you know, I'm just saying. Anyway, right. So, again, Chris, I need to um, come at you here a little bit because there's been some discontination, discontent in the camp. Yeah, there's been some discontent in the camp with regards to Prinny's grooming and her nails, right? And I see that you've responded to somebody on Facebook. Could be Sarah, but I'm thinking it's not. And I think we're going to go through this because this is quite some level of crap that you came up with. So as you can see, the nails are like a thing of absolute horrificness. And somebody pointed that out to them clearly. This is what they had to reply. There's absolutely nothing wrong with her nails here. They're her natural nails and how they've always been. She literally just came from the groomers where they professionally clipped and sorted her nails as they always do. Chris, they didn't they don't always do anything. It's the first time they've been to this you've been to this groomer, right? the first time so don't say that they always do something when they've never done anything to your dog before prinny has long nail beds so they can never clip them too short 
plus the fact that most of her nails are covered usually by her hair. She's never had her feet skinned like this before. That's why they look prominent like they do. Yeah, this is definitely Chris because Sarah would be like, she'd have to go on some sort of, I don't know, <laughs> she, she can't. Her level would not stretch to prominent. Not that any of this needs explaining to you, nor anyone else. In this video, you are referencing. She literally just came from the groomers. Clown, 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 clown. Well, it's obviously Chris. Yeah, he is the master of the clowns. And by... So why do you have to reply with clown? I mean, it is actually a valid question. I'm looking at those nails and I'm I I don't mention a lot about Prinny's grooming or non-grooming, right? I don't like it when dogs or any animals are you know neglected. But as you say, I don't see all the days I, and I don't know this breed of dog so I don't know what is normal and what is not normal so I'm hesitant to give any advice right but to me those nails do look a little bit firstly long and secondly it looks quite sore she's quite red and it kind of worries me anyway that's all I'm going to say about that I don't know for certain. If anybody does have this breed of dog, could you let me know in the comments below and let me know what is normal and what is not. Is this level normal for this breed of dog? That's all I'm going to say about that. Chris has proved that he is once again, once again the clown of all clowns. Okay, go jump in. Let's go, come on. Ah, she looks so smart. Good girl, Prini. Good girl, Prini. Yeah, I... <laughs> I gotta say this, but... Why? Why? Just why? She, she got her hair cut. She got a grooming. It wasn't a good girl moment. She didn't do anything special. She was forced into it, if you will. But it's just... The, the, it feels like she... <laughs> it, it feels like he's talking to one of his kids when he says that. It, I just don't know. It That's how it feels like the, the good boy Jace, good girl Mila that sort of thing and it's the same with the dog it kind of grates on me yeah you're so cute like that that's like that's actually probably one of the best cuts she's ever had she looks really smart i didn't want it to look too poodly you know when they have like the poof on head thing not like that but she looks great you look great man let's go show the girls to order a new camera this morning i'm so done with this camera i'm like not not that i'm trying to be ungrateful or anything like that but this camera is... yeah so watch baby it's pretty. It's pretty. It is pretty. So we got we got this. This is a this is a really good DSLR camera that I'm filming them now. There's nothing wrong with it or anything like that. But it's just not it's just not as good a standard as we need it to be for these videos. So and that lens is obviously broke. Yeah. So and this this lens that we vlog on all the time, this wider angle lens, it's definitely been dropped too many times and it's kind of it's broken. Similar to yourself, Chris. Dropped too many times on your head. Bit broken. So every time I use the zoom, it's ruining the image. And when it's in low light, this camera just looks rubbish. It's just, it's just very, very, it's not good in low light. So half of our videos when we're filming in the evening and stuff just look horrendous because all you can see is little pix pixelated fuzz all over the screen everywhere. You can't notice it when you're vlogging. No. Uh, you only notice it. You only notice it when you blow it up on a big screen. Uh, so half of you guys might not even notice if you watch that on a phone and stuff like that. But we noticed it. Anyway, um, I, I ordered a new camera this morning, so I, we've, we've always used a Canon 90D, which they're amazing, they're incredible, but ours broke in Mexico. And instead of being like people that would just come home and send it off to be repaired, we came home and brought it home in a box and left it in a box um, and just used this camera, which is what we bought in Mexico. And this is a Canon Rebel SL3, so it's, it's a good camera, it's a really good camera. It's not anywhere near as good as the 90D, but it's good enough. Okay, darling, especially for the summer when you're outside all the time and you don't notice it as much. Oh, bless her. 
Um, anyway, but I've ordered another 90D this morning. I know. Um, because we can't get our Canon, it was a bit of a last minute stupid impulse thing, but basically I'm just done with this camera. I'm done with the low light falls and all the rest of it, and we're going away in a couple of days, so I want to make sure we've got all the right equipment for that. Well, the right equipment for going away is technically passport, possibly some clothes, you know, some shorts, some t-shirts and things like that. A new expensive camera is not usually on the top of priorities when you're going on holiday. So I did a new one, it's coming tomorrow, a 90D with a new one of these lenses, so if you've noticed any shaky, wobbly, rubbly, rubbishy filming footage, then it'll be gone in a day or two. Tomorrow. I'm gonna let Sarah talk to you about that. I mean, talk, uh, there's not really much I can say. Because the girls are down here and the girls don't want to know anything. Oh, yeah, um, so they don't want to know when we're going or where we're staying or anything like that. They want it to be a surprise. So they know we're going on holiday, but they don't know when. You do realise that's not entirely normal, don't you, Sarah? Your kids, <laughs> they want to they wanna be surprised because you've made them grow up with all these memories of surprises at the airports and uh, oh my word it is ridiculous you know the only thing that you haven't done is you haven't surprised them whilst the, they're there you know maybe just bundle them on a plane somewhere and just don't tell them where they're going until they get there is that possible probably not but give it a go sarah that might get you some views actually um, I, like I, I like knowing, but I prefer surprises because then I can like it's better. Like you wake up in the morning, you're like, and is it going to be today? And like, is it going to be today? <laughs> Maybe not. And then it finally gets a day, and you're like, go, we're going. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's true. We used to love surprising the girls with, with holidays, like as often as we possibly could when we first started YouTube. You've probably seen. In fact, some of our most popular videos are surprising the girls at the airport with a holiday. Do you remember on Mallorca? We said yeah. we're going to watch the aeroplanes at the viewing point and then we just... That was Sarah, I'm not sure if you know this or not, but most of your holiday videos are surprise, we're going on holiday. Surprise, we're going here. Surprise, we're going to Dubai. Surprise, we're going to Mallorca. Surprise, we're going to Fuerteventura. Yeah. <laughs> etc you get the picture surprise 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 and if it's not a holiday it's still a surprise then you want to surprise them <laughs> sorry i'm sorry this is funny then you want to surprise them to go to to a haven holiday one time or something and it was like the the reaction was like huh okay what's that <laughs> still <laughs> it still tickles me. It's the best. I think that's got over a million views, that one. The New York one. That was with the eggs. I'm sure New York did the eggs. So New York then, what was that? We did, we did, we did um, that in the air. Anyway, what, but now that the girls are older, they kind of went through a stage of wanting to know, didn't they? So that they could prepare, pack all their nammy things, be all preppy. <laughs> Yeah. They wanted to know, yeah. Did your child just say when they went to Dubai they hadn't been on holiday for a long time? You'd literally just came off the back of trips to Mexico and to Spain within weeks of going to Dubai. Weeks. Possibly even days. And then you went to Dubai. And that is your children. Oh, my children are the most grateful children you have ever will meet. So that is ridiculous. Ground them. I mean, make them grounded, not ground them. Ground them. Anyway. So could get excited for it, which is fine. So that's what we did. Um, and now that they're older, it's not as easy to surprise them at the airport because <laughs> you think I've been in charge of all their clothes. Nope. But uh, somebody else was surprised at the airport, weren't they, Sarah? They posted it on all over social media. Can you imagine somebody actually doing that? Where was it you went to again? Was it Turkey this time? You, you're at Turkey right now, is it? Is it Turkey? I'm still on the side of, I don't have a clue where you're going, but the evidence is pointing to Turkey because of this young lady who posted this 
Guys, my cousin is on the same flight to Turkey as the bloody Ingham family. And that was posted on uh, the 19th, which was Friday. So, is it Turkey? I mean, unless this person's lying, obviously. I don't know. But then this other person posted this picture. Separate person, by the way. Posted this. Met the Ingham family, they did. Met the Ingham family yesterday. And this person appears to be working for Jet2 Holidays. So I'm assuming that's who you booked through, possibly. But this doesn't make sense, Sarah. You said that by the time we're watching all this, you've most likely been and gone to your holiday. But if, if all this is working out, it would appear that you probably flew out on Friday. And that doesn't tie in with everything else you're telling us. Please tell us the truth for once. Sorry. Rant over. They wouldn't let me. I wouldn't let me. So we have to do it slightly different. They've got other clothes. They've packed their own suitcases. But they just don't know where they're going. And they've requested not to know. So we're not mentioning anything. But I will say by the time you're watching this vlog, we will have already gone. We'll have already been there. Been there, done that. Except you're not though, Sarah. Or you haven't been there and done that. You may be there, but I don't think you've come back yet. But... I could be wrong. I mean, you could be completely be playing us. You, it's not like you've not done that before, isn't it? The garage, getting our inflatables to pack for the holiday, seeing what we've got, seeing what's still uh, good to use this year. And I found these <laughs> set of tables. I don't even remember when I bought these. I think it might have been when I was transforming the landing upstairs. But I thought I'd pop them up because we're always looking for tables for the living room. The Garage of Dreams 2.0. Yes. There's so much crap in there that you're literally finding tables and probably chairs, a dinner set and all sorts in there. It's brilliant, so absolutely brilliant. Surprised you didn't find any inflatables though, but there you go. So, yeah, I'm going to pop these up now, see how they look. So I just headed out, I've come to, we, we, need to, we need a suitcase basically. Our suitcases are ruined, the wheels are broken on them from last year because you know we like to obviously overfill them way too much. We went to get some yesterday and they only had one left in the shop we were in, a sports shop, a sports direct. Um, and it was a 30 inch one and Chris said that he thinks that would be too big. It's kind of like the large but not the extra large. We prefer the extra large ones. He said that, um, but Chris said that he thought that would be too small, so we didn't buy it. When we got home, we realised that the girls actually all do have a suitcase each. They're like, I think they might be cabin size. I think they might be cabin size cases the girls have. Maybe a little bit bigger, but definitely enough space for each of them to, for this trip, basically. So we actually only need one case. I'm really annoyed now that we didn't buy that one yesterday. In fact, the only reason Chris didn't want to buy that one yesterday, not only for the size, but also because there was only one and we expected to need two. And Chris is a bit weird with like, if there's only one and we need two, what's the point? Like, if he wanted them both to be the same or something, I don't know. So we didn't buy that one yesterday. The girls do have one. We're still on the hunt for one for mine and Chris and Jason Miller's clothes. So I've come to Asda because I also need some bread cakes random i need some bread cakes for dinner tonight and i'm really worried about jace's clothes situation if you've been watching this week then you'll know that jace pretty much has nothing summer wise i have done him an order on next quite a, quite a, well it's not a big odd but you know there's like seven or eight outfits um and seven or eight outfits does sound like you know a fair amount of clothes for the summer so just you know wash them once they're done and then reuse them not it's not a one <laughs> it's not use once and then chuck away situation you're not that rich anymore right that you can do that you need to just you know recycle a little bit and for summertime and that was supposed to have been delivered yesterday and i got an email saying there's been a delay on your order we'll keep you updated absolutely great just what i need <laughs> so now i'm worried that that's not going to arrive on time and then we'll end up we're going in a few days so then we'll be leaving with like no clothes for jace so i'm gonna have a quick look in asda 
Um, last time I came into Asda they didn't have that much, but I'm getting pretty desperate for him, so fingers crossed I have something. So I've come to Asda, I'm gonna look for a suitcase, I'm not sure they're gonna sell them in here, I'm gonna get some bread buns, I'm gonna look for some clothes for Jace. Um, and if not, I'm going to head to Matalan because hopefully they will definitely have a suitcase. And last resort, I'll drive into the city centre, which I don't want to have to do, and go to, I think there's a, spot, a sports direct there, so I'll go back there. But I really don't want to have to do that. Um, fingers crossed for Asda or Matalan. Everyone's looking forward to halloumi burgers tonight. However, I, we're not having it, don't get excited. I just checked the mints that I bought to make a spag ball and it's gonna go out of date today So I, pro I probably personally use it tomorrow, but I know nobody would eat it Neither would dad <laughs> I have no doubt that you would eat it. You would eat out of the... No, I'm not gonna say it, but you would... <sighs> I'm with the rest of them, okay? Meat that's not intended to go off like that. I just don't in fact, there is a thing that you shouldn't be eating it if it's out of date. Just Google it, okay? You've got an apple! Wow! Um, yeah, I'm really gutted because I, do, I, I don't like spag ball done in the pan. I prefer it slow cooked. It's just so much nicer. Well, I'm going to say, Sarah, that that's probably more an indication of your own cooking abilities than anything else because... Spag bong is intended to be done in a pan. You know, it ugh. done right, it's beautiful in a pan, right? In a slow cooker, I don't, I don't. Does anybody else think slow cooked meals are better than home cooked meals? I personally don't. I don't have a slow cooker now. I had one for a little while. I got rid of it because didn't use it enough but it's just like you put slow cooked meals on if you have a, like a super busy day right and you you don't have time for it it's easier just to do it in the morning and go out to work and it's done by the time you get home from work that is the point of it but these where they're home all day anyway they literally have nothing else to do so anyway a week girl um, and I didn't put it in this morning, so now I've got to go make it. And it never tastes as good when it's not slow cooked. But we're not complaining. Well, we, we kind of are. We won't lie. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we're having spag ball for dinner instead tonight. What, Jason asleep on the sofa. What have you got? I just realised I filmed going to the shop, or saying I was going to the shop, and I didn't film anything whilst I was in the shops, because it was just a bit of a mission, to be honest, to just run around and get everything I need. Good reason, a very good reason. I keep you around here, love. You keep me around. Just making me favourite. Oh, Sarah, good one, good one, Sarah. She said that as a joke, obviously, but you know, there's a tinge of I absolutely do keep you around, and you know that, Chris. <laughs> you know, there's an underlying sense of superiority with Sarah there because she knows, Chris. Is <laughs> is what he is and did what he did and yeah. Preparing tonight. Spaghetti no. bolognese. Thanks, babe. I hate cooking spag ball like this. It's always. I really. I'm not standard. Stubbing the mints like. Yeah, spaghetti bolognese is so. It's, never, it's definitely it's best never doing the same. Cooker. Like it's always still got lumps, like big chunky lumps of mints. Feel. I know. What? You don't. <laughs> you don't like cooking spaghetti bolognese because. The mints has always got big chunky lumps of mints, and you can't separate it. But you know what? If you put it in um in a s slow cooker, the same still applies. What do you just not separate the the mints, and it just like boils intermingled? You know, does that not like worry you or or freak you out or anything? I I don't know. 
Each to their own, but boiled mints is not for me. Sorry. I have halloumi burgers tonight, but uh, this is going off before then, so. Okay. I'll stop repeating everything you say. Sorry, darling. Sorry, I'm going to go show, everything, show everybody something really cool upstairs, man. Yeah, well, um, what you could show is the fact that I was just vlogging a minute ago, walking past the playroom. I couldn't finish my vlogging part, and I had a paddy about it because Kristen transferred the memory cards. And I know why like, you're thinking, oh, it's not a big deal, but this is becoming a daily thing where I'm vlogging. And I can't finish what I'm saying because Chris can't be... He's like, I'll just change it. I'll just transfer all the clips now. It only takes nine minutes. Why can't you do that on a night time then? You can go finish. I'm not finishing what I was saying. You know what they say, Chris? If the wind changes, your face will stay like that. Or, or maybe that's your good face. I don't know. And then he's like, go finish what you were saying. Come on, it won't be able to make sense. I won't be able to crop it. So I have to do it all over again. No, you go do it. I was talking about how bad the playroom was, so you can go finish that clip. <sighs> One thing these guys love playing with more than anything at the minute is Lego. But it always ends in tragedy. <laughs> tragedy for the playroom. <laughs> and the millions and billions of pieces of Lego that are everywhere afterwards. But it's really sweet watching them play Lego. It's so cute, I love it. Meeling, putting all the little bricks together, and then eventually getting too frustrated at it because they won't stick and just smashing them all. But you know, which is what ends up in the chaos, like this. It's all good, it's fine. It's normal life, right? Although I do feel like recently, <laughs> this whole house just feels like it ends up being, like, don't you think it ends up basically like a tornado's come through it now? Like, it's like Mila's like reached her, her peak of like, toddlerness, and she just is into everything. Like, she constantly running around after her catching and trying to do everything. Don't you think? Do you agree? Yeah, she does, yeah. She's like a to we, we, wake, we wake up in the morning and this house is literally perfect because obviously that's what I do but on the night time. But I feel like we say this every day, so no one really cares. <laughs> yeah, but it's just true. I do generally feel that, that more recently, at recent times, I can't keep up with it. Like, I cannot keep up with it. I'm running around the house constantly just like... Oh, I know. I know exactly what you can do to make it perfect all the time, Chris. All you need to do is buy a big camper van, buy an RV, buy a caravan... Buy a plane ticket, get the hell out of the house, and just leave it, and it'll all look sparkling clean all the time. Spending my entire day uh, cleaning, putting things back together. It's absolutely madness, but I guess parent life, right? Who? How many of your parents can relate? Every single one of them. Every single one, without doubt. Anyway, come on, let's go upstairs. Okay, so I'm up in the bedroom, and Sarah doesn't know this, or she probably does, but she doesn't realise this right now. Um, that. <laughs> so... Obviously she bought this suitcase today. And she's put all the holiday sweet stash in here. Mm-hmm. Don't you know she's forgotten about it? <laughs> I'll have to help myself to a few cheekies there. These are my absolute favourite though. Uh, obviously you can tell they're my favourite because I've already snuck a packet out of the suitcase and half in it whilst I've been cleaning the bedroom. I've been putting off that job all day that definitely every single person in the world definitely puts off all day when it's time for this job to be done. Today was duvet washing day and now I've got to put the actual duvet back in the duvet case. Feel me? Yeah, I know everybody avoids that all day long. I put it off all day long to the very last minute and now it's going to be the very last minute, so... the prepared mum that I am. <laughs> I'm actually feeling so prepared this, this holiday. I'm working on little sweetie packs for the girls and Jace to take on the flight. These are my absolute favourite though. Obviously you can tell they're my favourite because I've already snuck a packet out of the suitcase. Because I swear I literally got all of these sweets for the price of like one bag of Maltesers in the airport. And I've got five children. <laughs> So, I'm being prepared. So Isla's helping me. We've got loads of different snacks here and we're going to pop them into Isabel, some different Ikea bags. Does it about what sweets? Isabel would like some wine guns. 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 <laughs> wine guns. <laughs> so wine gums. I don't have them. I don't have chewing gums, but, but I do have fruit pastels. And pack her a lolly because remember her ears always Her ears, like, yeah. And just, well, she wants Tic Tacs. She doesn't want Tic Tacs. Um, is she? there white Tic Tacs? No. Maybe we should just make her a pack, and if you don't want it, we could just yeah, she can just show it to someone else. Good idea, Isla. But how many bags? Isla's got a little production line going on with the yeah. sweets. Yeah. Got lollipops. Oh, where the lollies all gone? Oh, they're there. They're under. Got lollipops. Lollipops. Got a little bag for everyone. Yeah, and with so all cute. Because like on planes, you always get really like hungry. So I think you're more just bored. Yeah, bored. It's definitely not hunger, it's more bored. Yeah, and um, so when you got sweets, it makes it all better. So now we're going to share all these out. 
That's good. That's very good. And also, not just for the flight, but I always find when you go abroad, sometimes when you go back to the room, you're like, oh, I could just eat a Starburst yeah. or, I don't know, something. You always kind of crave, like, well, not crave, but, well, you actually crave, yeah, cause in like, some, UK sweets. Yeah, in some countries, well, in most countries, they don't do UK sweets, so... You Sarah, did you honestly just say that you crave UK sweets when you're out of the country? You know one thing? They do actually sell sweets in other countries. They may not be UK sweets all the time, but they have their own, which are perfectly nice. Also, to crave UK sweets because you're not in the country. How often you are out of the country in order to crave them so much? <laughs> I think at that point you realise that you possibly you out too too much, you know. If you were in the country more than you were out of it, then you would wouldn't miss the sweets. Why did you do that? What? I bought them for the holiday. You asked me if I could open them. I said no for the holiday. Right. So you wait till I go downstairs, then you open and eat the whole bag. I moved the suitcase to where it is now, and they fell out. I'm sorry. I think with that particular image, I think we'll leave it there. Now, don't come at me, okay? I'm just giving the pervert something to play with, shall we say. Much in the way that she does to her kids on a daily basis. But there you go. If anybody wants her, there it is. I'll even timestamp it for you. So, please... Everybody, take a deep breath. Have a lovely day. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and definitely subscribe because I need your signature or subscription. You know, click the button anyway. Get me up to 9,000 subs before the end of... before the end of June and I'll be happy. Okay? Until next time, have a lovely day. Take care of yourselves. It's sunny out there. Go and have a picnic. Bye-bye.